Well, it's just about 6 in the morning, Thursday, February 24th, 2022. The temperature is minus 31 Celsius outside, or minus 28 Fahrenheit. Oh, it's going to be a good day. You can just feel it already. You can just feel it. Can I, can I get a large coffee with uh, one cream and one shot of espresso in it? Sure. And a uh, sausage farmer's wrap with uh, creamy barbecue sauce instead of Chipotle. Okay. That's it. Okay, that'll be it for the window. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm treating myself today. It's a special day. It's Thursday. Why is Thursday special, you say? I don't know. It's Thursday. It's special. Very excite. Very excited. Just from my old cups in the garbage here. There we go. Hey. So what's up guys? How are you guys all doing today? It's another cold one out here. I'm getting uh, tired of telling you that, but here we are. I don't control the weather. It's another cold one today, guys. Just being honest. Minus 31, minus 28 Fahrenheit. That's what I said before, right? I always do the conversion first thing in the morning on Google just so that I get it right. I hope I got that wrong. Hope it's warmer than that, but uh, pretty sure that's uh, the correct temperature. So we're headed into work. We got some stuff to do today. Arberg's got some stuff for us. I gotta go pick it up and bring it back. I've actually got some pretty exciting news today. I was going to wait until the end of the day and, you know, save the best part for the last, but i got to give you a little teaser now uh, so that you'll stick around to the end of the video. Uh, later on today after work, I'm going to uh, be signing a lease for a shop. I'm really excited about that. Uh, it's a place where I'm going to be able to work, uh, keep the truck clean, polished. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to uh, move forward with that. So at the end of the day today, after work, I gotta go there and meet, uh, meet with the guy who owns the place and sign some papers. And then hopefully I can show you around today a little bit yet. Uh, if not, I will as soon as I move in. Sun's starting to come up. My dash lights are flashing. Let's see if I go in real close. See, then they stop. It's the shutter speed. The shutter speed changes when there's more light. Once I pull back here, it'll suck in more light from the sun and the shutter speed will automatically change and that'll start flashing, you see? My dash lights don't actually flash. It's just the camera playing camera tricks on you. I'm a magician. The more you know. Today we're here uh, waiting for the truck to warm up. My truck is going into the shop for a safety and they haven't had a chance to do it yet, which is totally fine because I understand they're swamped in there. They got a lot of trucks to take care of and in winter time, uh, there's a lot of stuff to get done. A lot of things break in the winter time and you know, little things add up after a while when there's a lot of them. So I'm in this Western Star again, 3079. I got a running warming up. You can see at the bottom of the cab there, there's some exhaust coming out. That's the bunk heater warming up the cab for me. Should be ready to go in about 20 minutes. Oh, this stinker this morning was, uh, <laughs> we're gonna say it was a good morning, even though uh, we know full well that it was a frustrating morning. It was minus 31 when I got to work. And of course, everything was frozen. The truck was frozen. It started up, but uh, the airlines, of course, were frozen. So I had to get those un unfrozen and unstuck. And then it took a while, you know, to get the truck warmed up, get the cab warmed up to the point where it's, you know, you can move it and work with it and, you know, put it to work. Then I go hook up to the trailer. The trailer brakes are frozen. So I get those unstuck. All right. The second problem, no problem, whatever. It's cold, but we can, we can deal with it. And then my fifth wheel on the truck was frozen and it didn't want to lock onto the trailer. And then, before I left, I wanted to make sure I had all the equipment I would need. <laughs> so I had to open up the box on the side of the trailer. Toolbox. The toolbox was frozen. <laughs> so everything took longer than I needed it to and I'm running behind now. So 
I'm picking up two orders, and I think I have one order on the trailer already. I've already got it tied down. I'll give you a look. They're inside, I guess, getting the next one ready. Uh, it wasn't quite ready when I got here, so it was okay that I was running a little bit behind because they're running a little behind too, so we got away with it this time. All right. Oh. got some stuff on there and that stuff's going to Knoxville Tennessee got the trailer opened up right to the back here hopefully that'll be enough to fit we've got some stuff right there that they're gonna put on and that up there and then I haul it back this is a I mentioned it before right? it's a 48 foot which should have plenty enough room which is good I don't know why we have a 48 foot I mean Nowadays, uh, usually if you buy a new trailer, you want to get a 53 foot because almost all loads require a 53 foot nowadays because the longer the better, right? There's not really much advantage to having a trailer that's five feet shorter. I mean, the wheels are in the same spot, so you have the same turning radius as a 53 foot, but uh, less storage space for freight, you know? So I don't know. Not my department. Not my decision to make. Just waiting for my other freight. Western Star. These trucks are a little bit rough on the road. When you're used to like the Peterbilts and the, the Kenworth T680s, these trucks are a little bit rough. I think they got a bit of a shorter wheelbase, so a donkey kicks a little bit more than uh, than the other trucks, but it's still nice. It's still super nice, still rides like a Cadillac. So at least it's warmed up. The sun is up in, this, in the sky, or technically, is the sun up in the sky, or are we just turning and facing? I think it's a, I think it's more, it makes more sense to say we're facing the sun right now. The sun doesn't move. That's what they tell us anyways. I don't, I'm not an astronaut. I've never been up there. So I, I'm just trusting the words of the thousands and thousands of people that have been up there. And I've taken pictures. They say it's round. It's funny, there's a, a big debate in some circles that the world is not round. Did you know this? Some people say it's a pie shape and that Antarctica is the ice barrier around the outside of the pie. And that the Earth is actually a flat disk. Very compelling arguments. It's very fascinating. I've, I've looked all into that. I, I'm, I'm fascinated by how people, you know, they have their evidence to back them up but I mean people who know the earth is round also have their evidence because we've actually sent people to the moon or at least orbiting the moon right it's a debate also whether or not we landed on the moon or not but I don't think we can debate that there's people circling the earth in orbit right this second there's live feeds that you can watch right on TikTok or YouTube I think I'll trust their opinion when they tell me it's round. Maybe that's a controversial thing to say nowadays. I try not to be too controversial. Sometimes it's tough though. I have my, my opinions and you know, my opinion is that the earth is round and that could be a controversial opinion. 200 years ago, we knew the earth was flat. Right now, we know that we're alone on this planet. Imagine what we'll know tomorrow. Good movie, good movie, Men in Black. This freight is going to Duluth, Georgia, and Knoxville, Tennessee. We're all buttoned up, tied down. I'm getting kind of excited and a little nervous to go meet with the owner of the, the building where my new shop is gonna be. I'm excited to uh, finally have a space where I can work on the truck and just store stuff. I mean, we live in like a tiny little 860 square foot house and we have very little storage and we want to remove that carport, right? Uh, we want to give the dogs more space to run around in our yard and that carport takes up a huge portion of our yard. So everything that we got stored in there is going to go into the shop. And I also have a bunch of stuff stored in the shop at, uh, at my dad's shop, which is in the same building where mine's going to be, just on the other end. Oh, uh, you're not gonna let me over, bud? 
Okay, well. We'll slow down for this guy here. He's got his one triangle. Well, at least he's got one, right? Oh, it's a training vehicle. Ha! <laughs> You'd think a training vehicle would have all three the way you're supposed to, right? But now nah, I only have one. My pickup is right there. I'm gonna start her up. Get the juices flowing in there so that when we do start moving that uh, she won't be too cold. I'm parked up here along this fence because this is where this truck's home is. So when I'm in this truck, I park my pickup there and then when I leave now, I take my pickup and park the truck back there in its spot and plug it in. Uh, I'm just getting all my stuff together here. Really excited, uh, get to sign the lease today get everything worked out and hopefully we can start moving in some of our stuff this weekend oh i'm excited to show you guys i gotta get all my stuff together here though make sure i don't forget anything i have a lot of stuff that i carry with me electronics gloves winter equipment plugs cords i think i have a little more than the average person <laughs> extra gopros and my gopro case cameras equipment headphones that keep unraveling just in case you never know right you never know okay Put that in there that can go into my bag there i try to keep as much of this stuff in my bag as possible that way it's always with me then everywhere i go i have my bag my backpack and I've got everything I need in there. Everything from like, uh, you know, Tylenol, Advil, uh, to my my binder, my work binder, to my work gloves, you know, electronic cords and stuff, some winter stuff. I think that's it. Okay. Oh, let's unlock the doors on the pickup. carrying stuff over and you know how I'm always saying that we're looking for drivers here you're gonna be hearing that a lot from me in the in the coming weeks and coming months and in the coming years really but uh, we are really looking for for drivers here right now company drivers owner operators and I'd like to put you in touch with the people you need to be in touch with if you want to work here with me and with us here join our team uh, I have a new email address where you can get a hold of me for that kind of thing uh, we can't fill it up with uh, a whole bunch of emails just saying hey I know you guys just want to say hi but if you could just keep those emails business related I'd appreciate that the email address is truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com if you want to work here email me there and I'll get in touch with the right person and I'll forward you on straight to the right person to fast track your resume into the right hands so you see what I do here every day you've seen what I do uh, when I was on the highway, you know, we're looking for regional drivers, uh, highway drivers, long haul. We cover like all 50 continental US states and Alaska, all of Canada. Uh, the only requirements are that you're legal uh, to work in Canada. So you gotta have your work visa and all of that's uh, figured out first. A uh, two years experience, and you can come work for us here and I can set you up with a good position and set you up with the right people to get you in the position that you want. Oh, hopefully I don't trip. So you're gonna be hearing, hearing about that a lot from me in the future. I'm gonna be working very closely together with Keystone. You know, they're helping me out a lot and I'm gonna help them out a lot as well. And, uh, you know, maybe lure some of you to come work here with us. Maybe you're not quite happy where you're working. Maybe you've been driving for a long time and you're like, hey, maybe it's time to make a change. Try something new. Maybe you're an owner operator and you're looking for a good company to run your truck on. Send me an email. Truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. Love to hear from you. Just remember, uh, got to be Canadian citizen or have your work visa, your legal right to work in Canada all set up already. We don't have any programs to help with that right now. And we can't guarantee work for everybody. But I can definitely guarantee to be on your side to help you uh, help you get on here. Maybe put you in a truck like this that's uh, a lot cleaner than this one. Let's not use that as an example. Maybe I can put you in that truck right there. That truck doesn't have a driver right now. That's why I'm in it temporarily. 3079 needs a driver. 
Maybe it could be you. Hmm? Think about it. Think about it, you know? Maybe the grass is greener on the Keystone side, right? You never know unless you try. I can hook you up. You've got an in. And then I can mentor you as well as you're working here. And if you have any questions, you can always uh, have me on your side to make sure that, uh, you know, you never feel like you're lost or anything after you start here. We have uh, several units along the fence here that are looking for drivers. So I don't want to spam you too much all at once, but just bear with me, everybody. You're going to be hearing about it a lot in the future. I'm going to help them out. We're doing a big drive and a big push right now for some new drivers. And uh, they've been there for me. They always have been. I'm going to be there for them now and help them fill these trucks and put drivers in empty seats so we can keep our freight moving and keep growing. All right, got a lot of stuff done today. Got dog food. I've got new shoes, new boots. Excited about that. Boots are expensive. Those are $179.99. It came out to $200, like $201 for work boots. Is it just me or like, can anyone else remember paying like 35 bucks for a good pair of work boots? Then it went up to 60 and we were like, oh, $60 for one pair of boots? That was 200 bucks. Am I just losing my mind or were they, were they always this expensive? Maybe I just never bought the good ones. Uh, uh, so we got dog food, we got new boots, we got milk, we got cream. We got ourselves a little, a little truffle treat, but you didn't see that. You didn't see that. Just forget you saw that, okay? That, that wasn't there. We also signed the papers for our shop and put our deposit down. So we're gonna be leasing a shop space. Uh, it's a big enough space to park a, like a, a full unit in. I'm, I'm gonna have to show you on the weekend. I was really looking forward to showing you today, but I don't actually have the keys until the first of the month, which is on uh, next Tuesday. But the landlords or the owners are being super nice. And if I pay the rent on this weekend, I can have access. I can, I can get the keys this weekend and get in a couple of days early because there's no one in there right now. So that's pretty cool. So uh, I'm excited to show you guys that. That'll be a weekend vlog, I guess. Uh, makes sense. I mean, I don't know why I, I thought I could give you a tour today. Uh, I don't have possession of it yet. But we did uh, uh, sign up for it. We got a nice warm spot uh, to do our work. I'm gonna be doing a lot of my vlogging work in there. There'll be a little film studio in there probably. I wanna start adding uh, a few more shows to this channel as well on top of my daily vlog. I'd love to keep you guys up with current things going on uh, in the trucking world, especially up here in Canada. Since there's tons of news already online about what's going on in the trucking world in the United States, I'll cover that as well. Don't, don't worry, I'll cover that as well. Maybe worldwide too, I'm not too sure. All I know is I wanna start adding more content to this channel uh, in different shows. Maybe uh, you guys can give me some ideas. What would you like me to, uh, what would you like me to do? What are some kind of different, uh, some different content you'd like to see? I can do comment reviews, live videos, uh, weekend vlogs in there, obviously, because I'll be able to spend time in there building stuff because I'll have a shop space now to build stuff. That'll be fun. Uh, no, we'll think about it. We'll, we'll come up with some ideas and we're going to come up with some extra content to throw up on this channel here. I'd like to have two videos per day on this channel. My regular daily vlog every day and the weekends too so i really want to start pushing myself to get videos to you on the weekends as well and uh and also something else in the evenings like a, like a comment review and maybe some news maybe my opinion on the news maybe an opinion show maybe just a eh, maybe just a chat i don't know i'm gonna think of something but that shop is gonna play a big part of this as well it's gonna be our uh our shop slash studio and we're expanding we're growing so that that's good that's good always always excited to always excited to take a step forward and we'll see where this leads us uh i'll show you more on the weekend but i'm gonna end this vlog here i'm gonna quickly run home i guess and uh pretty much just go straight to bed i gotta do it all over again tomorrow i hope you join me again tomorrow um remember if you are looking for work here in uh 
in Canada. We have a terminal in, south of Winnipeg in Manitoba. We also have a terminal in Waterloo in Southern Ontario. And you're a truck driver, you're looking for work, or maybe you're looking to try something new, shoot me an email, truckerjosh at keystonewestern.com. I can chat with you for a bit and uh, see, make sure you have all the requirements met and stuff, and then I can shoot you straight over uh, to the person who's going to uh, uh, deal with your resume and application and I uh, can make sure that you're all uh, all set up. And uh, if you do get hired and you join the team, and then I'll also coach you through at the beginning, I can mentor you on uh, on issues you have as you're learning maybe how our e-log system works or you're wondering who to call and when. Uh, we'll talk more about this in the future. You'll be hearing a lot more about that in the future. So uh, that's all I have to say really. We'll talk more tomorrow, okay? I gotta go put gas in this thing now. It's almost empty again.